A downtown Sarasota development is under attack. Residents say the developer of the DeSoda luxury apartment homes is polluting the surrounding area. ABC 7's Beauvet Yates has more. On 2nd Street in downtown Sarasota, it's not uncommon to see white stuff falling from the sky. But it's not snow, it's styrofoam, and residents aren't happy. I'm concerned about it breathing it in and what harm that could be, d be doing in the long term. Sean O'Neill is among those concerned about the influx of polystyrene, a product most referred to as styrofoam. It is currently being used in the construction of the DeSoto luxury apartment homes on 2nd Street. Here you see it lining the outer walls. It's a mess. I mean, if you just look around you and when you're down here in this part, it's just coming down from all over the place. O'Neill isn't exaggerating. A short walk downtown, you see styrofoam particles blowing in the wind. It's on people in the street, even in the gutters and drains. So ABC7 reached out to one of the contractors working on the project. And while they admit to causing the problem, they say efforts are being made to prevent it. We have a lot of netting on this building and the netting will stop most of it. But Joe Otto, the owner of one of the companies contracted for the project, says they also have crews cleaning the streets and picking up excess styrofoam. And he adds what's left is not toxic. Expanded polystyrene that we use, called EPS foam, absolutely has no uh, chemical. According to OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, styrofoam is classified as a non-toxic particle and does break down. Styrofoam is biodegradable eventually. In other words, it's not something that lasts forever. ABC7 checked. Turns out styrofoam is biodegradable. But according to science.com, it takes 500 years to do so. There's been a lot of talk about plastic pollution in our waterways. They're completely aware of where it's going and what it's doing. But they just don't seem to have the will to want to, to contain their mess. The city of Sarasota also received some complaints about the issue. They said they looked into the matter and threatened to issue a stop work order if the developers don't clean it up. But that was several weeks ago. Well, Beth Yates, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.